So you got yourself a tech license and you went out and you bought yourself one of these little guys for $30. Great, you can talk five miles now. When you talk to a repeater, everybody can tell you, I can't understand you, you're in the noise. Garbage. Oh shit. You know what you want to do. You know what you want to do. Now that you're a ham and you've got that tech line, you know. You're looking at the general. You're looking at the extra. All these guys, you're hearing guys talking around the world. Far off place. And you want to do that too. I get it. I was there. I got something for you. It's like candy. Come on. I got candy for you. <laughs> Hem candy. Come here. Put your fingers around this one. This is called D-Star, baby. We're talking about D-Star today. Everything I'm going to talk about is crap that I own. Why? Because I own it. So what's the deal about D-Star? D-Star is a digital mode. It was created by the Japanese uh, amateur league, whatever. The the uh, the hams in, in Japan invented D-Star. I'm a DMR guy. I'm a Moto Turbo guy. I do fusion. Good for you. Good, good, good. I'm talking about D-Star today. VHS Betamax. <laughs> first things first, you gotta pick a radio. Hey, I'm gonna recommend one of the newer D-Star radios that's out from ICOM. The IC7100 is a great all-around compact radio that does D-Star, HF, 2 meter, 440, does it all. Likewise, the 51 and the 5100 series radios uh, have all Ooh, kinds of really, of really cool features, including built-in GPS uh, where you can find okay, out where right, the guy right. you're talking to okay, um, uh, is in relation uh, to you, whether he's time. down the street but, uh, or across the world. Uh, <laughs> Just fantastic. Everything here is touch screen, is very easy to program, and just really kicks ass. Because the backbone of D-Star is based on the internet, it enables you as a tech or a, uh, or as a general or extra who's a eh, antenna challenge, let's say, uh, to get on there and work all these stations around the world. You can get some great DX and you can talk to guys in other countries just at the drop of a hat. It's really, really cool. Before you start using the D-Star reflectors and being able to work all these stations around the world, you got to go register with D-Star. It's quick. It's easy. You just put in a few things on your local D-Star repeater and they'll get you all handled from there. Uh, one of the reasons is, is you don't want non-hams getting on D-Star. This is a quick look at who's been the last on on my local repeater in Folsom, California. I don't live near a D-Star repeater. That's okay, I have a solution for you. We're gonna bring the repeater to you. There's a lot of D-Star stuff out there that isn't ICOM related stuff. I built a hotspot. A hotspot, you say? What exactly is a hotspot? Hotspot is a little box that I built that brings D-Star to me. The one I'm currently using here is based off the DV Mega and it's available from Gigaparts. Uh, it comes as a whole kit or you could buy just whatever pieces you want. This thing can be battery operated. It can run wirelessly from your phone anywhere in the world you are. Hey guys, speaking of software, I can't say enough about RT System software. They make programming your D-Star radio effortless. I mean, you could put in all your reflectors, you could put in all your local repeaters, you could set up multiple, multiple accounts or configurations depending upon where you might be traveling um, in anywhere in the world. On the ID5100, searching for repeaters near you is as easy as one, two, three. Man, you just touch the screen and it'll find all the repeaters around you for, say, a hundred miles. How cool is that? Uh, yes, okay, let me just confirm. I've got the name as Kent. Uh, is that all right, QSL? QSL, that's uh, I'm in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. 
<laughs> I'm gonna share with you some viewer emails. K6UDA, you're so cool. I know. If I got a ham license, would I be as cool as you? And would people actually want to talk to me? Signed, Barack Obama. No. D-Star covers it all. They're talking to each other in the field. Basically radio to radio. Local repeaters. This is a great prepper tool. I'm telling you. Secure comms. Very few people that are with this technology can hear this technology. I can be out with my buddy who has another one of these. We can be out in the field hunting. Hunting. Hunting? With guns? Yes. We can be out hunting or hiking or four wheel driving for that matter. He can key his radio up and I can see exactly where he is in relation to me. I'm a DMR guy. I'm a Moto Turbo. I do fusion. Good, good, good. It'll give me his distance up to thousands of miles and his direction and his GPS coordinates. But what if I don't want to share that? You can turn it off. <sighs> Cleansing breath. ICOM radios are fairly expensive, but if you buy them right, you could get them for fairly cheap. This first came out, it was $400. A friend of mine, who shall remain nameless, because I don't want to call him out. Burton! I'm thinking paid retail for this. I found one on e I found this one on eBay and I bought it for $250. Some of you engineers can't spell on eBay. You make opportunities for guys like me to swoop in and screw guys like you. This is a good time to end the show. If you like, subscribe, like, share, spread the word. I'm having a good time. That's it. I'm done. I'm going to go talk on the radio now. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here.